Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Lucky Corners in uh, uh, Resources and Republic and Workers and Soviet. And we can go ahead here and uh, observe that the town is still here. Yeah, uh, absolutely shocking news that I, I'm sure uh, the town is still here. Uh, right, so the situation here uh, need to be getting, uh, well, more workers. And I could import them because the game rules we're operating under do allow that. But I kind of don't want to. I want the population to be growing, uh, you know, on its own, right? So uh, we've got here, uh, let's see, loyalty is 35%. Uh, we're not going to do much better than that until we have enough to really staff the radio station. Uh, right, okay, so there's that. Um, yeah, there's that. Now here we've got 215 with higher education. So that's one of the things that, that we're trying to get uh, sorted out here is the uh, higher education. We need them, right? And we have 808 actual workers. So yeah, we have that. Now, uh, if I take a look in uh, here, uh, we can see for the month of November, uh, we have 55 births, 23 deaths, and 5 escapes. So that's 28 down, 56 up. Uh, so that's a net positive of uh, some number, right? Uh, 18 or so. Uh, obviously, we would like more than that, but with a population of 1,342, you know, uh, right. Uh, so if I click into last month, 56. Uh, yeah, it's about eight, 17 or 18, right? Uh, yeah, uh, so that uh, just needs to uh, continue ticking along. Now, if we go here and look in the economy, no loans. So that's good. Uh, we have no loans. Uh, this would be you now. Uh, just as an interesting aside on on all this business here, you might think that starting the map with population would have made this easier. Uh, where so I where I could just uh, steal population from the uh, villages on the map, uh, but that uh, that turns out not to be the case. Uh, I. <clears throat> Well, it could be easier, but you start out with like eight or nine thousand people, which affects your uh, your uh, behavior at the customs posts and, uh, and and things like that, right? So, I've got uh, I've got a save game that uh, I was uh, playing, and uh, uh, you know I. I I got complacent because I had the population that I could call on, and then I got into a death spiral. And uh, even with population on the map, I couldn't uh, I couldn't reverse that uh, because I had too much infrastructure. There was no way I was getting enough foreign workers in to fix everything, and all of that jazz. Now uh, in that map, uh, where I went wrong is uh, ran out of water. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's. Uh, and it wasn't uh, treatment capacity either. Uh, it was actually, uh, it was transport capacity in the pipes. I built too many small pipes, right? Uh, so that was a problem. And we're actually kind of in the in the, uh, the space here where that could be an issue here, which is why I'm building the additional well and everything, right? Uh, what's this? It's a big water tower. That's a big water tower. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, oh, I see. Right. I was building a separate output uh, stream for the from the treatment plant. Uh, to provide water up up this way at the uh, 
at the asphalt plant. Right, that's why I was building that. Okay, press the right buttons. Okay, so that needs to get uh, finished. Now, if I just uh, jump on here, we can observe the uh, progress here. Now, I really do need to get uh, prefabs and a few other things uh, going. Uh, prefabs and bricks, I think, are what I need to get going. Yeah. I've got boards uh, down here, right? So prefab. So if I have the prefab factory here, uh, you know, I think that's about as good a spot for it as any. Now what I'm going to do is attach, I'm going to attach a storage to it. And that's simply because uh, there's a good chance that I'm going to build something that uses a lot of them. So that's an open storage. Now I could, I could make it the full size uh, storage here. Uh, which I think I'll do. I can put the storage, flip it. I can put the storage here. I could. Yeah, I'll just put the storage there. And how am I going to get the road access into there? Well, by building a road. Uh, you do realize that's kind of obvious, right? Yeah, it, it, that's the whole point. It's obvious. You get a road in places by building roads. Uh, so we come out of here. Oh, there's a, there's a power pole in the way. Yeah. So I can go off on an angle. No, so I'm not going to come off down there. Well, I could just do this. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. And... Right. Okay. Uh... I suppose I can come out this way. Uh, yeah, kind of like eyeball that. And this can come across like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we'll definitely do that and connect that like that. Now, I need to, well, I need to queue that up, build that and that. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's uh, that's some stuff that's happening. Uh, right. So we're a month into winter now, and things are happening. Let's uh, jump back in here and see how this uh, progress is happening. Uh, we got a water pumping station is doing a thing and is finished. Now we need uh, another pumping station, substation. Mm. Okay, all of that stuff needs to finish. But down here... We've got, oh, down here, we are producing water. Uh-huh. And it comes up this pipe into a pump and into the water treatment plant. Okay. Now we've got water coming out this way. Really, we just need a little bit of uh, workers Oh, yeah, we need some resources, too. And the water tower is complete. Oh, well, stuff is going to be finished relatively quickly there. Uh, right. And we've got enough uh, gear here that we can build gravel roads easy enough. 
Uh, how is this doing? 812. Okay. Now remember, this is winter. Uh, so uh, things are a bit slower. People are a little less happy. You know, that sort of thing, right? So yeah, winter is winter is here and it's doing a thing. At some point, I'm going to also need to uh, build a new uh, heating plant. Um, yeah, uh, but I need to set up some uh, coal uh, infrastructure that's a little bit more friendly. Because uh, I'm bringing coal into here directly, right? Uh, yeah, so, uh, well, it doesn't use it, use it that fast, so it should be fine, actually. Now, what I, what I think would, uh, would make sense, uh, it would be if I put a full-size heating operation somewhere, in range of uh, workers, obviously. And if I do that, then I can, uh, you know, run the heat from there and uh, decommission the small heating one over here, uh, which would maybe simplify some things. Maybe, not sure. Uh, either way, it's not going to happen right now. Uh, let's just uh, see where we stand here. Yeah, the roads are making progress, but nothing else is. Okay. I should have looked at what stopped. It was probably the heating plant. Uh, right. So, uh, I'm going to queue up this and this. Uh, why? Because producing prefabs is going to be better than, or being able to produce them is going to be better than not, right? Now, just checking in on here. Uh, yeah, the number of students is way down, so there's that. Checking in here. Yeah, the student numbers are down. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay. Now. So we got the substation and a pumping station that need to be finished. And the roads and, and uh, the prefab stuff need to get built as well. Well, that should be fine. They will get, uh, they will get built. I definitely want to have the... Uh, the uh, prefabs online before I start building anything that uses lots of them. <laughs> okay. Uh, we got one road is just about done. So I can go in here. And when it's done, right now, I can queue that up. And that up. Yeah, that's going to need workers. So queue it up on that one. Right. And what have we got here? We've got the factory connection getting built, right? Uh, bring back uh, this guy. No, this guy. We have... Uh, very slow progress on the prefabs uh, the factory. Right. Well, stuff is happening, so that's good. Okay. Now what? 
bricks. Need bricks. Oh, need bricks. That's obvious, isn't it? Need bricks. Oh, yes. That is going to be absolutely terrifyingly obvious. You just keep saying need bricks. Well, you do need bricks, don't you? Yeah, pretty much, but you don't need to keep saying it. Where am I going to put the bricks? Huh. Now, where would... Uh, hmm. 819. Huh. 239 with higher education. A bunch of them must have graduated. Well, uh, regardless, uh, it's, it's a thing. Okay. Uh, I don't know... I don't know where I want to put the brick factory. Um, over this way? Well, it's going to be in miscellaneous, right? Brick factory. Not especially big. I could drop it in, say, over here. And then grab the uh, large aggregate. No, the you know the open storage, full size open storage. Uh, okay. Right, now I need a road into that. Uh, that's not quite what I wanted to do, but it will do. Okay, do that. Now, come in here. Do that. Yeah. Okay, well. So that means that needs to get built and so does that okay uh, that will be bricks so we'll be bringing coal in to run the brick factory and uh, was it gravel and cement for the prefabs uh, is it gravel and cement Uh, yeah, I think it is. Um, okay, well, uh, uh, what am I going to do there? Uh, uh, can I... Well, first of all, go and uh, check in the, uh, no, it's prefab, uh, gravel and cement, yes, okay, uh, and there's three vehicle stations, so I could run it with, uh, a coal truck, maybe two, and a cement uh, dry bulk truck. Yeah, I think that would be enough to make that uh, to make that work out. Uh, let's just uh, duck in here and see how the construction is going. Uh, we're just working on the prefabs now, so that means um, what does it mean? It means this should be filling up. It's full. It means we should have, uh, we have, we have water and sewer at the asphalt uh, 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 maker. Okay, so I think that should help with the uh, workers being a little bit happier. Uh, what's happiness doing? Uh-huh. 
Well, uh, whereas uh, yeah, statistics-wise, 247 higher education, 825 workers. So it does seem to be going up. So let's just take a look here. 46, 27. So 19. And that's uh, the month of January. Okay. Uh, what's the progress and what's still to be built? Uh, prefabs is uh, getting built. Uh, the unfinished road's just about done, so that'll be good. In the meantime, um, need to build these as well. Okay, uh, now we'll get the prefab panels factory constructed uh, and then once we have that uh, and the brick one gets started you can bring coal in and uh, get the prefabs uh, taking over coal and uh, and cement and that should that should get most of the costs except steel uh, for building stuff sorted Not that we have a particularly big problem buying steel at the moment, but it does get more expensive over time. Okay, so uh, what does this need? Okay, what does this need? Uh, a stack of work days and bricks. Of course it does. Right, okay, well, that's fine. Now... Um, okay, what's this one need? 68 tons of bricks, and this one needs asphalt and gravel. Yeah, okay. Right. Well, that's going to speak for that space. And yeah, I think we're I think we're okay for the moment. Uh I'm not sure how much uh how much I can accomplish here uh without uh, getting really bored, but I think I think I've got a few more episodes in me. I I've got some I got somewhere I want to get to um as far as the build goes. And when I get there, I may uh, I may pause the uh, the series or something, but I'm not anywhere close to there yet. Uh, I want to see the uh, basically I want to see the the Republic self-sustaining, uh, at least uh, mostly. Uh, yeah, uh, so I want to be able to uh, have all the citizens fed. Right, and also all the uh, all the the other uh, stuff uh, as much as we can produce locally. So we have a fire over here. We have fire trucks on the way. Turn off the ugly. Yeah. Uh, right. Where are these alleged fire trucks? Where are the alleged fire trucks? I don't know where they the ale the alleged fire trucks are. Oh, they're coming. There they are. Uh, fortunately, this has been a slow moving fire. Okay. So, okay, the fire's out. Good.
Uh, what stop production? This Dewey. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now these guys. Well, they're going to take a minute to build, uh, I think, uh, realistically. And... Yeah, it's going to take a while for sure. Although we're down to 18 uh, bricks needed. Right, 18 tons. Okay, well... I guess... What's this? No, what is this? This is a coal mine, right? Yeah, I think. Um, coal mine, yeah. Got to read the title. Uh, you got another building on fire. Uh, and the fire truck has arrived. Done. Okay. Uh, fire has, is extinguished. Okay, yeah, that's cool. I do kind of wish you could export petroleum products via pipeline. Um, I mean, it's not that it's that unrealistic to do that. Um, I mean... Uh, if I get, you know, I guess maybe that would be a little bit cheaty, wouldn't it? Uh, exporting that much, uh, you, like you, 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 those pipes can be a pretty solid fire hose, right? So maybe not so, maybe not such a smart idea. Yeah, maybe not. But I do still wish that uh, you could export uh, fluids by pipeline. I mean, it's not like it's never done in the real world, right? Um, okay, we just need workers here. And there they come. Right, so next time around, I should be getting the prefab panels and the uh, brick production online somewhat and that should be that should be exciting um, in the meantime the prefab panels factory is complete right so I'm gonna go in here and cut the workforce just because I don't want to soak up the uh, workers oh we just had a drop in workers um, Okay, so deaths, huh? Okay. Uh, well, deaths is definitely going to be a uh, going to be a thing that happens, right? Now, if we look in here, we've got higher education two forty eight, so. That's actually good. That that percentage is going up. So uh, that that's exactly what I want. So I'm okay with that. Okay, I need to assign that. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, uh, next time around, as uh, I'm I'm not going to do it this time. Uh, I will definitely get the prefab production underway. And also, uh, barring disaster, uh, I want to get the brick factory operational as well. Although 1,800 work days might take a minute, uh, even with four cranes, right? So uh, definitely want to get uh, brick production going locally. I'm going to ride this one out until winter ends. And that will 
that will bring us to spring. Yeah. Yeah, it'll definitely bring us to spring. And that's that's kind of cool. Brings us to spring. You said that. Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, but, you know, things are running slow enough that, uh, you know, things. Oh, things you say. Yeah, things I say. Are you sure you say things? Well, pretty sure. Okay, well, let's just, oh, just stop that nonsense already. Uh, okay, now, uh, the thaw is just about here. So, once the thaw hits, it'll be time to um, retire the episode. Yeah. Uh, so, that should be popping up any minute now. Okay, February 22nd. There we go. There's the thaw. Okay. The snow melt is happening. So, uh, that is uh, definitely uh, something resembling progress. Not brilliant, but it's something. So, uh, yeah, next time around, I'll get the, I'll kick off the prefab panels production. And then hopefully the brick stuff will get ready to start up as well. And then there's a couple less things that get imported, right? Yeah, okay, so uh, that that's all, all good. Uh, on the way out the door here, I'll just uh, mention, uh, you know, just for the curious, that I do have a Patreon if for some bizarre reason you want to support the channel. Uh, if you do, the link should be in the description. Otherwise, you know, you can ignore it. And, uh, well, you know, with all that said, I guess see you back next time.